<laughs> it's connect by. All right, then I'll uh, introduce tonight's speaker. Uh, he's Craig Conlon. He's going to lead us tonight in a hands-on usability training session. Craig's uh, an award-winning digital marketing and uh, UX consultant. He's got over 20 years experience in B2B and B2C demand generation and user experience. Mashable.com listed him as one of the top 10 must-follow usability experts on Twitter. Plus, like Julie, he's a former president of this chapter. Craig Conlon. Thank you. Thank you, Lawrence. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, you know I'm the speaker because I'm the only idiot here that actually has a suit jacket on, so especially in the summer. So um, I want to thank you all for being here today. Uh, the topic is an actual work session. So yes, indeed, you guys are actually going to be doing work. Um, and it's how to conduct a usability test. So what test. we don't want to do is we don't want to go rushing off and just start asking people on the street corner, hey, you know, can you uh, do this? No. What we want to do is actually create a script. And the script needs to have two important things. Number one is what is the critical task we're testing? And number two is lots of room to write down notes because you're going to be scribbling notes like crazy. Okay? Now, the reason for creating a protocol is so that you can ask the exact same question in the exact same way to all of your different participants. So why would we need to do that? Anybody have any guesses why we have to say it exactly the same way? Yes, ma'am. So that is correct. Because if I am asking the question in different ways, I will probably get different answers or different responses. That's exactly correct. So I must make sure that my protocol keeps me aligned with asking the same question in precisely the same way each time. True story, I had somebody who uh, hired me to do some usability testing for a, um, a healthcare application. And uh, in just running the protocol through with the CEO, who was, who was uh, actually uh, responsible for this application, and then he had his assistant in the office, and so um, they sat down and I started explaining to the CEO how we were going to do it. And, and he said, well, can you show me? And I said, sure. So I had the assistant sit for the application. She had just been hired recently, wasn't very familiar uh, with their application. And I ran through the protocol with her. She completely got stuck at like the first login screen, was unable to move forward. He saw that, literally jumped up out of his chair and dashed into the development room. I mean, literally like that. So that was a case, kind of a, a, an extreme case, but that was a case where one person was able to alert this person that he had some severe issues that he hadn't even thought about. So it can work with just as few as one, one person. Okay, here we go. So, everybody, uh, attention please for one minute. Attention please. So here's what we're going to do. The moderator will choose a website or a mobile app and will ask a very specific task, such as, can you show me how you would sign up for a free evaluation? So that's the moderator's job, and then remember, you're going to ask the participant to think out loud. Second, we are going to be testing for 10 minutes. I'll be the timekeeper, okay? So we're gonna test for about 10 minutes. So you're gonna be going through the process and asking your end user and observing them and making notes to make sure that they're using think out loud, right? And at the end of 10 minutes, I'll ask you to stop. And then the observer, who has been recording the interaction, right, will then talk to the moderator about some of the things that he or she did very well, and some of the areas where they may want to consider improving themselves going forward, okay? So that's going to be the role of the moderator and the observer. The end user, this is really cool, you get to play the role of yourself. <laughs> I know you're going to get a 100% on that one. Moderators, are you good with your critical task? Do you know what your critical task is? I'm seeing some wavering. Yes. Okay. 
Uh, let's go ahead. So begin. Commence. Okay. Okay, guys. So uh, raise your hand if you found this helpful and usable. Raise your hand if you found this helpful and usable. Great. I'm not seeing any hands that are not up. That's awesome. Okay. Do we all feel like we have a better sense of what it takes to do a one-on-one -on -one usability testing session? Okay. I want to open it up to the floor uh, for some Q&A. We've got about uh, 10 or 15 minutes left. So uh, what questions did you have from the session? Did anybody hit a problem that you didn't know the answer to as you were going through, either as being a moderator or an observer? Well, we're about out of time. It's 8.30. Um, and I wanted to thank you. Uh, do you feel like just testing the applications you tested that you learned something? Like, are you wanting to rush back to work and, and go talk to somebody? Yes? Okay, good. Well, then this was very useful. Thank you so much. Um, I'm not sure if, Lawrence, if you want to have any last words. No? Okay. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you for participating. Thank you. Please feel free to go into Meetup and leave comments about this particular session or any session uh, that you have through UXPA. Thank you for attending, and we'll look forward to seeing you at another UXPA meeting.